It is the 4th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off with El Hero. i uh, got a couple of videos out. Um, it is still any time now, they're saying. Uh, Mary Greeley put out a video. I'll attach that below. And uh, some pretty eye-opening stuff as far as uh, the earthquakes are still going on and um, they're getting that jacuzzi effect again. EarthChanges.net Zombie Volcano or New Super Volcano <clears throat> A broad swath of the Altiplano Plateau in southwest Bolivia is inflating like a giant balloon, presumably as magma builds up deep underground. This aggressive rise hints at the, that a new supervolcano could be awakening in South America, geologists say, and so they are keen to learn more about this underlying cause. And, um, yeah, that's something we definitely need to keep an eye on. Big Siberian freeze to hit Britain. Britain faces a sudden shivering end to the exceptionally warm late autumn with temperatures plunging towards Siberian levels. Uh, winter weather will arrive with a vengeance with temperatures well below zero within the next fortnight. Torrential rains turn streets into rivers in Oman. Uh, three people died. Throwing normal life out of gear, heavy rain lashed several parts of the Sultanate, claiming three lives. And even uh, as International Cyclone Study Centers, the local weathermen yesterday predicted the possibility of tropical cyclone hitting the far coast. And uh, tropical storm uh, Kila. Chile coastline under seismic assault from new tension along. Nazca Plate and a series of moderate quakes have ripped up and down the north northern coastline of Chile over the last 24 hours. Uh, the strongest of the four earthquakes erupted today was a 5-2 uh, that struck near the coastal region of the, the earthquakes are an indication of mounting tensions on the Nazca Plate which has been ex ex exacerbated by recent quakes in the neighboring Cocos Plate and Costa Rica and Revilla Guido Islands. And a huge crack discovered in the Antarctic Glacier. Uh, they're saying this thing's about 300 miles. And Japanese people are urged to wrap up to save on winter power. Uh, due to power shortages, of course. Over to Extinction Protocol. Uh, anxiety surfaces across na nation over upcoming test of U.S. emergency system. Uh, it's only a test, but nerves are somewhat frayed over the first nationwide exercise of the system designed to alert Americans of national emergencies. The test occurs at 1900 GTM Wednesday, November 9th, and may last over three minutes longer than the typical 30 seconds or one minute for most broadcast test mes messages. According to a message being circulated in local school and government officials, there is a great concern in local police and emergency management circles about undue public anxiety over this test. And they're reiterating it's just a test, folks. Uh, NASA detects X2 class flare eruption on the sun. Uh, here we go with 1339 again. Um, they're saying this one's not directed towards Earth, um, but it should be pointing in our direction in about five days, which puts that right around the 9th. <clears throat> Report finds earthquakes killed 780,000 people in the past decade. Uh, that's not surprising. Uh, this is a report out of Turkey. Earthquakes claimed more than 780,000 lives in the past decade, accounting for nearly 60% of all disaster-related deaths, according to a study published by The Lancet today. And, uh, yeah, with the tsunamis and whatnot we've had lately, climate warns expect more weather disasters if we haven't had a record-breaking year already. Uh, Washington, freakish weather disasters from sudden October snowstorm in the northwest U.S. to record floods in Thailand are striking more often, as global warming is likely to spawn more similar weather extremes at a huge costs. And 
over to Geology News. Close call with an asteroid on November 8th. On Tuesday, November 8th, asteroid 2005 UY55 will pass within 0.85 lunar units of Earth. That means it will pass between the Moon and the Earth, uh, NASA comments. Although classified as potentially hazard object, 2005 YU55 poses no threat of an Earth collision over the, at least the next 100 years. However, this will be the, the closest approach to the date by an object this large that we know about in advance. And the event of this type will not happen again until 2028 when asteroid 153814 uh, 2001 WN5 will pass within 0.6 lunar distances. And the more they then watch that, I just watched a show on NASA. Um, if I can find it in my history, so I'll attach it below. And basically they were saying even that one's not due to hit us after they've taken um, over the years and recalculated the numbers. Um, but again, NASA never tells us 100% what's going on, so never a straight answer. And uh, it's supposed to pass tomorrow, or the 8th. And finally tonight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it in Fukushima, um, where uh, the situation's just getting more and more and more extreme. Just in Japan Times, it is now grave situation at Fukushima. Plutonium fission mentioned for the first time, criticality is very likely to have occurred. Uh, November 3rd, a report published at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time by the Japanese Times calls on TEPCO and the Japan government to find out true reactor conditions at Fukushima. TEPCO announced Wednesday that according to the Times, there is the possibility that criticality, a sustained nuclear chain reaction, had occurred temporarily and locally in the number two reactor. Mm hmm. If it's not continuing to go now. During the testing, TEPCO has detected xenon 133 and 135 products of uranium or plutonium fission. The half life of xenon 135 is about nine hours. Therefore, criticality, criticality is very likely to have occurred just before the gases were analyzed which means it's pretty much ongoing, uh, reports the Times. Clearly, the, re the reactor has not yet been stabilized, and according to the Times, the fact that TEPCO cannot deny the possibility of criticality, irrespective of its skill, is a grave situation. And the article notes conditions are similar in the number one, two, and three reaction reactors. Well, again, we have three nuclear reactors, and not just little nuclear reactors like Chernobyl, major massive nuclear reactors melting down in Fukushima, Japan. Uh, now is the time to get serious, writes the Times. TEPCO should make serious efforts to actually grasp the conditions of the nuclear fuel inside the reactors. TEPCO and the Nuclear and Industry Safety Agency should take a serious view of the fact that radioactive xenon pointing to criticality was detected from the number two reactor. What happened in what happened in it can happen in the number one and three reactors. And uh, MOX fuel, you gotta remember that's that plutonium enriched fuel. And uh, plutonium half-life is what? 24,000 years? Enjoy while you can. Thanks everybody.